there are many things to separate Swansea and Cardiff. But geographically, there's 41.9 miles between the two cities. The first ever meeting in the South Wales Derby was back in 1912 where Swansea Town were officially formed. And in Swansea Town's first competitive game, they played a derby against Cardiff City where the final score was 1-1. The last ever meeting in the South Wales Derby was also a 0-0 draw. Will history repeat itself for another draw this weekend? The overall record in the South Wales Derby, Cardiff City are currently on top with 44 wins. Swansea City slowly catching up with 36 wins in 28 draws in this fierce rivalry. The biggest ever victory recorded in the South Wales Derby was Cardiff City's famous 5-0 win back in the 1960s. What a great result that was for Cardiff City, a bad day in Swansea City's history. But a bad day in Cardiff City's fans' history was in 1988, where 30 Cardiff City fans famously got chased into the sea by 50 Swansea City fans. Hence, the gesture from Swansea City fans, the swim away gesture. It's not just the fans, or the managers, or the coaches which feel the pain. It's also the referee who's refereeing the match. In 2009, Mike Dean got famously hit by a coin from a Cardiff City fan so the referees also feel the pain of this fierce rivalry. Swansea City were the first ever Welsh club to reach the Premier League, but Cardiff City were the last ever Welsh team to be in the Premier League. Wales is divided not just by the colour of the country's flag, but by football clubs. Football is everything for these fans, and South Wales Derby Day, it can be one of the best or one of the worst days of your life. A season, Swansea had the bragging rights. What colour will the pride of Wales be this weekend? Will be a dark blue to represent Cardiff, will be a dark white representing Swansea City. Find out this weekend, half past 12, Sky Sports Football. Do not miss it. The South Wales Derby is back, ladies and gentlemen.